The Monday morning attack took place in the Sudanese capital of Khartoum. Prime Minister Abdullah Hamdok was in a convoy of cars when gunfire and an explosion went off near his vehicle. He survived the attempt on his life, but a police motorbike rider was injured. Within a couple of hours, Hamdok tweeted a photo to prove in his words that he's in good shape. The government says it was a targeted attack and investigations are underway into who carried it out. We know that there are people who are trying to target the revolution of the Sudanese people and to attack the gains of the revolutionaries, but we stress that revolution is going on and the revolution will continue its path. No one has claimed responsibility. The attack highlights, though, the fragility of Sudan's transition to civilian rule, almost a year after protesters forced the military to remove President Omar al-Bashir and replace him with a joint military civilian government. But the generals remain the effective rulers of Sudan and have shown a reluctance to hand over power to civilians. Prime Minister Hamdok has vowed that the attack won't get in the way of Sudan's transition. Sarah Khairat, Al Jazeera.